Hello, everyone. A quick idea of this week's parasha, Parsha Bamidbar. What's the idea by Parsha Bamidbar? It's about the counting of the Jewish people. Rashi explains that God loves the Jewish people so much that he's always counting them. When they left Egypt, he counted them. When people died out, unfortunately, after the sin of the eagle, the golden calf, he counted them again to know how many people survived. And when he, now, when he, when he comes to, with the conclusion of the construction of the Mishkan, of the tabernacle, of the temple, he counts them again to know how many people he's resting his Shekhinah, his divine presence on. on. And if you look at the numbers, there's several things that, that jump out. One of them is the tribe of Levi. The tribe of Levi is 22,000, but they're counted from the age of 30 days, unlike the others who are counted from the ages of 20 to 60. And if you do the math, the tribe of Levi has 8,000 people, 8,000 men between the ages of 20 and 60, which is not even half of the size of the smallest other tribe which is 22,000, and it's far, far smaller than the other tribes that had 50 or 60,000. So this, this, need, this is an enigma that needs an explanation. After all, the tribe of Levi represents those who served God in the temple. They also, they also uh, were the teachers of Torah. They were also those who ruled on halachic questions. People needed guidance. They went to the tribe of Levi. So how is it possible that those who serve Hashem, those who were the most knowledgeable in Torah, the blessing of God of having uh, many children did not come to them? So the Ramban asked this question, and he's, one of his pr- approaches is, he says that it seems to support the idea that the sages said that the tribe of Levi was not included in the subjugation of, 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 of Egyptian labor, and they were not included in the servitude in Egypt. So therefore, that explains it, because the Torah says... God says, As much as the Egyptians afflict you, that's how much more you'll grow in number. You find right after the Egyptians said, we're going to kill the firstborn, it says, The people increased and became very strong. So a direct result of the, infant, uh, the, uh, of the killing the cho- of the children, that the, the, the decree to kill the children, was that the Jewish people should grow in number. Therefore, the tribe of Levi was not included in the servitude. Therefore, they were not included in the tremendous blessing of the, the uh, unusual growth that the other tribes experienced in Egypt. So that is fine. Now, why did the tribe of Levi not, uh, why were they not subjugated? So some explain that the, the Paro understood that you can't have uh, a nation, enslave a nation of people and expect them to be able to work well and have good morale if you don't have inspiration for them. So therefore, he excluded one tribe of people. These people will, will pray and study, and they'll be the inspiration to keep the, so the others are able to keep going. So this was a, a gift that Hashem gave that we should have the tribe of Levi to inspire us in, in Egypt. But there's another idea that's relevant. When Yaakov... Uh, meets Esav, so they eventually Esav parts ways, and Esav explains that I'm not going to inherit the land of Israel. There's no need for us to stick together and for me to end up in Egypt with you and go through the servitude. Because there's no pain without gain. There's several things that the, the, the Talmud explains need to uh, there needs to be suffering in order to acquire them. One is Eretz Yisrael, the other is Torah, and the next is Olam Haba. There has to be discomfort involved before we can acquire these wonderful things. So therefore, the tri- Esau said, I'm not going to inherit the land of Israel. There's no need for me to get through, go, go through the suffering. In fact, he told his grandson Amalek, after the Jews leave Egypt, then you should attack and wipe them out because Israel's already been paid for with their servitude. Then you can go and kill them out and take Israel for free. So we see from over here, we, now things take, a, we, we can get a clearer picture. The tribe of Levi did not inherit a portion of the land of Israel. They had cities, but Hashem wanted that these people, these holy people who were worshiping Hashem, their sustenance should come straight from Hashem and straight from the appreciation of the Jewish people, and they should provide for their teachers. So they therefore they had no need to go through the servitude in Egypt because they weren't going to inherit the land, a portion of the land of Israel. But... but, but 
regardless of the fact that it was justified and there was a good reason for it, they didn't go through the hard times, they didn't get the blessings that came as a result. So for us, this is a very big chizuk. It, this gives us strength. Sometimes in life we go through difficult situations, difficult challenges in all different areas, in health and livelihood, children, various different struggles. Um, this is important to know that very often when a person is going through a hard time, there's tremendous blessings in other areas that come as a result. Have a good Shabbos and a good Yom Tov to all.